The shock, horror, and brutality of the Iraq War have left no one untouched since it all started in 2003. Altogether, more than 50 movies have been made about the war, with only a handful receiving critical acclaim. If you like movies mixed with bombs, desert storms, politics, and raw human emotions, then I would suggest you keep on watching. In this video, we're giving you a roundup of the top 10 Iraq War movies of all time. Number 10. Green Zone How do we know this guy isn't leading to some ambush? We don't. Put your game face on. Dangerous and exciting, the international search for weapons of mass destruction is on in this Paul Greengrass thriller. We follow the characters into the early days of the Iraq War, where Miller and his team are dispatched to look for lethal chemical weapons hidden in the Iraqi desert. Stuck in a web of conflicting intel and running out of time, Miller must uncover the truth fast as he and his team bounce from one booby-trapped peril to the next. If you're a huge fan of Greengrass Damon crossovers, we definitely think it's worth a watch. Got him! I got him! Three coming up! Michael, send Steve Best over! Go, go, go! Number 9. Battle for Haditha A tragic recounting of the events that led to the killings of 24 unarmed Iraqi civilians, this movie gives us a purview into the horrors of the Iraq War. Allegedly executed by four U.S. Marines as revenge for the roadside bombing of their fellow troop, we're drawn into this story by a documentary-style narrative that introduces us to the key players, the Marines of Kilo Company, an Iraqi family, and the roadside bombers. Described as gut-wrenching and controversial, the film received a positive response for accurately covering a horrific incident that shocked the world. <laughs> Number 8. Last Flag Flying an adaptation of Daryl Poniskan's 2005 novel of the same name, this movie is packed with grief, patriotism, and the strength of family bonds. There are times that demand that even old men should become threats. Fucking A right. It traces the life of three Vietnam War vets, Larry Doc Shepard, Sal Neelan, and the Reverend Richard Mueller. The trio decide to head to the New Hampshire coast, and the bittersweet trip brings back old memories of war and difficult questions about life. The themes portrayed by Last Flag Flying are daring, and the emotions it portrays are complex. Let's just say that it's not your cliché road trip movie. Mueller has arrived! Number 7. Buried Sir, I say that out of respect to you. Now here's a film guaranteed to have you holding your breath. Buried is the story of what happens to U.S. truck driver Paul, portrayed by Ryan Reynolds, as he fights for his life. Attacked by terrorists in Iraq, this American civilian finds himself buried in a wooden coffin, alive. With an incessant demand for a $5 million ransom by his kidnappers and a clock ticking against his life, will Paul make it out in time or be left to die? Dark, thrilling, and suspenseful, Buried won several awards and nominations for its acting, screenplay, and brilliant special effects. <laughs> Number 6. The Messenger Sir, Staff Sergeant Montgomery reports. At ease. Who doesn't love a classic war drama? This 2009 movie is based on an American soldier struggling with conflicting feelings about the widow of a fallen officer. The deceptively simple plot weaves in more and more complex details as it takes us through a journey of love, grief, war, and disappointment. The relationship develops into something new as the pair get more involved, but is it right for them to continue? The movie depicts strong moral dilemmas and the nature of war. Starring Ben Foster and Jenna Malone, this Oscar-nominated movie is truly worth all the accolades it received. No! Don't you say that about my baby! Number 5. In the Valley of Elah Sir, I'm calling about your son. My son's in Iraq. Your son was in Iraq, sir. His unit arrived stateside four days ago. Based on real-life events, this movie is a haunting depiction of cruelty. Tommy Lee Jones plays the role of military police vet Hank Deerfield, who searches for his son and then pretty soon, his son's killers. He's joined by Charlize Theron, who plays a police detective, as they investigate the circumstances that led to the young Marine's death. With its overt anti-war themes, we come across questions dealing with PTSD, the abuse of prisoners, and what the Iraq War meant for America. Ultimately, the movie carries an important message that encourages the audience to reevaluate. 
two weeks here. All I want to do is go back. Number four, Megan Levy. Levy, dog up. This film chronicles the heartwarming bond Megan Levy, played by Kate Mara, develops with Rex, a bomb-sniffing dog. Together, they save countless lives, and Rex even ends up saving Megan from trouble. The rest of the story revolves around Megan's battle to adopt her canine buddy as he nears retirement. This canine human love story isn't exactly a war film, but it beautifully depicts the values of friendship and sacrifice. Megan Levy holds the audience by the leash with its gripping narrative and intense drama. Rex laid down. Number three, American Sniper. Directed by Clint Eastwood, this movie created a storm of controversy with its depiction of Chris Kyle, a real-life Iraq vet, as he navigates his way through life and war. I got a military-age male uh, on a cell phone watching the convoy over. This biographical war drama follows a Navy SEAL sniper, played by Bradley Cooper, whose accuracy and skills saved several lives, turning him into a living legend. But after serving four tours, Chris realizes he can't adjust to a normal life anymore. Raw, bloody, and personal, this movie provides a powerful commentary on American heroism and bravado. Despite the controversy, the movie received six Academy nominations and was widely praised for its acting and direction. Number two, Taking Chance. Sir, it's my recommendation to just send enough augments to cover their casualties of last month. Dramatizing a true story, this heartbreaking movie shows Lieutenant Colonel Michael Strobel as he escorts the remains of a young Marine back to his hometown in Wyoming. Starring Kevin Bacon, this movie doesn't make any political statements or show any battle scenes, but the unique and heart-wrenching narrative definitely shows the importance of kind gestures. Needless to say, Taking Chance was a huge success, which according to critics, had to do with the movie's apolitical nature and its neutrality towards the Iraq War. I owed it to him to save him. I'm the one who trained him. Our number one pick is The Hurt Locker. What's he doing? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die comfortable. The Hurt Locker focuses on three bomb squad members as they travel across Baghdad. Jeremy Renner stars as Sergeant First Class William James, who's recently been assigned to the squad. The film explores the psychological effects of combat and provides an intense portrayal of elite soldiers who have one of the most dangerous jobs in the world, disarming bombs. As the movie progresses, the men face increasingly hazardous situations. Their interactions, arguments, and drama make the movie intense and captivating. Described by critics as suspenseful and thrilling, this gritty, compelling war movie won 10 Oscars and received overwhelmingly positive reviews from viewers. The movie was rated a 7.6 on a scale of 10 on IMDb.com and received a meta score of 95 on Metacritic. Everybody get back! Go, go, go! Hang on! Do you agree with our list? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and be the first to receive new top 10 videos from Stream TV.